Hello learners, welcome back to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the five kingdom system of classification. Let's study a bit background of uh, why five kingdom system of classification was given. The earliest known system of classification of organisms comes from the Greek philosopher Aristotle. Um, he actually divided all the present living organisms into plantia or animalia. It means that there were only two classified systems were present at that particular time, plantia and animalia. However, the biologists they found this system unsatisfactory and unworkable because some of the unicellular organisms they were showing the trait of both plant and animal. So they, it was very confusing at that particular time. Along with this, this system was unable to show the structural and functional differences. So in 1866, Ernest Haeckel, he introduced another kingdom or third kingdom, which is known as Protista. And the purpose of giving this kingdom was to accommodate the euglena-like organisms. The euglena-like organisms, they are uh, in between like plant and animal but this system it does not clear the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes so in 1969 robert whittaker he proposed a more sophisticated system which is known as five kingdom system of classification or you can also say that whittaker's system of classification then in 1988 margulis and schwartz he they both modified the five kingdom system now this system is based on some important points it means that this system is not just randomly uh, divi dividing the organisms into the kingdoms but it is based on some important um, scientific basis the first is mode of nutrition whether the organisms they are autotrophs or the heterotrophs cell structure complexity they are prokaryotes or eukaryotes or what is their evolutionary relationship how they are branching off from the uh, prokaryotes then cell organization whether they are unicellular or multicellular and reproduction whether they are reproducing asexually or sexually so all these bases they use to give five kingdom system of classification that is why it is a more sophisticated system so in five kingdom system of classification all the organisms they are divided into five kingdoms monera protista fungi animalia and plantia let's study one by one the basic um, properties of the animals being put in the kingdom the first one is monera in the monera prokaryotic unicellular organisms they are present prokaryotic it means they do not have the true nucleus and they are unicellular they lack nucleus and they also lack membrane bounded organelles for example they do not have nucleus and they do not have other membrane bounded organelles for example golgi operators endoplasmic reticulum lysosome they all are absent in the monera they have cell wall and they may not have cell wall it means that there are two types of organisms present in monera some have cell wall and some they do not have cell wall um, when we talk about the mode of nutrition they are autotropic as well as heterotropic autotropic organisms they can prepare their own food while heterotropic organisms they cannot prepare their own food and they are dependent on other organisms for their food bacteria cyanobacteria and archaea here you can see the example bacteria and cyanobacteria they are placed in monera kingdom the second kingdom is protista in the protista eukaryotic unicellular organisms they are placed eukaryotic means that they have nucleus but they are unicellular it is said that they are actually the simplest form of eukaryotes or the eukaryotes they are actually evolving from these simple protista they have nucleus they have membrane bounded organelles for example they have nucleus they have golgi operators they have endoplasmic reticulum they have lysosomes they have vacuoles so all the organelles which are bounded by cell membrane or plasma membrane are present in the protist they use flagella cilia and pseudopodia for their movement it means that they or these organisms if they want to move from one part to another part of the environment they are use they are going to use flagella cilia or pseudopodia they are autotrophic 
or they are heterotrophic. It means four type of organisms are present in protista. The examples include Euglena, Paramecium and Amoeba. Here you can see this is flagella. It is the Euglena is going to use flagella for its movement. The Paramecium is going to use cilia. Here you can see the small particles here. These are cilia and Amoeba it is going to use pseudopodia for its movement. The third kingdom is fungi. In fungi, multicellular eukaryotic organisms are present. Multicellular means that they are made up of more than one cell. Their cell wall contains special pigment which is known as chitin. They are organized into filaments. It means that their cell structure is going to organize into filaments. And they are heterotrophic organisms. It means that they cannot prepare their own food and they are dependent on other organisms for their food. For this purpose, they are going to secrete the digestive enzymes and their digestive enzymes going to degrade the material, um, the organic material and from the organic material, they are going to take the material which is required for their growth. Yeast, here you can see yeast, paramecium and mushrooms, they are placed in fungi kingdom next comes the animalia in the animalia multicellular eukaryotic organisms they are present animals they do not have or the organisms present in animalia kingdom they do not have cell wall or they lack cell wall cell wall their body is very complex it means that the cell is arranged into tissues then organs and then organ system so they have complex body structure they are heterotrophic organism it means they are also dependent on other organisms for their food they require oxygens for living and they reproduce sexually it means they have uh, two sex uh, male and female birds reptiles fish insects dinosaurs humans they all are classified under animalia kingdom last kingdom is plantia the plantia contains multicellular eukaryotes and their cell wall contains special pigment which is known as cellulose it means they contain cell wall and in the cell wall cellulose is present they also contain specific pigment which is known as chlorophyll which is helpful for the photosynthesis animals placed in kingdom plantia they are autotroph or autotrophic it means they can prepare their own food and they are not dependent on any other organisms they just need sunlight water and then they can produce in carbon dioxide they can produce their own food by photosynthesis they also reproduce sexually it means they have sex organs if you talk about the examples we have mosses ferns and all the flowering plants and all the plants present on the earth they are placed under kingdom plant so that was all about the five kingdom system of classification if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video give it a big thumbs up i will see you in the next video